I'm so happy that Twitch is burning to the ground. I'm having a nice time roasting my little marshmallows near the fire and making s'mores while this literal dumpster fire is <laughs> actually crumbling in front of my eyes. It's so fucking nice, dude. So basically what happened was they Twitch made a new rule where you can't show brands on on screen. You can't show any logos, you can't do any sponsorships, none of that. If there's a logo, it can only take up 3% of your screen, right? So if you have a G Fuel sponsor, it can only take up 3% of your screen. And I know I literally just quoted Charlie. That's only because I got this video idea from him, okay? Keep crying and complaining. Point is, okay, I am really happy this is happening. I'm so happy that this company continuously shoots itself in the foot and fucking takes away its kneecaps with a crowbar and actively takes a bath with its toaster. I'm so happy that it's finally burning to the ground and crumbling because I hate these people. I hate them. I genuinely hate them. I hate the fact that people like Gideon can get permanently banned for spamming L in a woman's chat and then another girl can literally get fucked on live stream in front of a bunch of people and then receive a three day suspension. I'm so glad that Twitty, uh, I'm so glad that titty streamers like Amaranth are having their income taken away. It's because she has gotten so big that, that like she's literally trying to become the AI girlfriend from Blade Runner. Deadass, like have you seen... She's making her own AI companion, dude. I gotta make a video on that, too. But no, it's... It, it, I'm so fucking happy to see the Poggers community burning to the ground, okay? Like, I own... Like, my only regret and my only wish is that more skeletons were dragged out of the closet. That's all I wanted, deadass. I just want these people to be fucking... To, to, to be put in the fire, to have their feet held to the fire. It's because the fact that they sit there and they preach about, you know, gender equality and feminism and women empowerment, and yet when a woman gets sexually assaulted, they take away her power to speak about her story. They take away her power to, you know, defend her reputation and her career. It's so fucking hilarious. And I just wish, I wish that more situations like that popped up and became mainstream because I love it so much when these people get their balls tied in a knot, genuinely, I love it so fucking much because seeing them squirm and writhe on the floor in pain and trying to avoid stories like the fucking, uh, what's her face? The blonde girl who got groped at that party. I don't fucking know. I already forgot her name. Jesus Christ. But I love stories like that. It's because even though it's really bad that she got sexually assaulted, it's sad that I even have to say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, it's fucking bad. I just like the fact that people like Miskiff and Ludwig, uh, Ludwig and Pokimane and Maya Higa are fucking, you know, actively getting crucified by shit like that. I love it so much, and I'm so glad that all of their incomes are being taken away. Deadass. Like, look, I hate fucking cancel culture, but I also hate these people. You know, Pro Jared, Pro Jared was right, okay? Everybody hates cancel culture. Until you get the chance to cancel someone. Because the second these people's incomes got taken away... Dude, I was basically nutting in my pants. Like, like fucking instantly, dude. Like I was, like, on the floor, like, writhing in pleasure. It was actually fucking insane. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy that alt tech, like, kick and rumble are starting to take off. Because I need... I need for YouTube and Twitch to have some type of competition. Because the internet has become so incredibly hypersensitive that this shit is leaking out into reality like it's leaking out into reality like while i was making my job application they had to do like a whole course on racial discrimination and why it's bad to say the n-word like it's sad that we even have to say this like obviously racism is bad but the fact that we can't even speak freely like it's 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 fucked like what kind of country do we live in what kind of world do we fucking live in <sighs> fuck ludwig okay he's not man enough to grow hair on his balls Fuck Pokimane, okay? She literally spends 10 hours a day putting on makeup just to go live for one hour. Fuck that 2 out of 10 ugly bitch, alright? Fuck Mizkiff. I hope his fucking dumbass hair falls off, okay? Like, genuinely, I can tell that's a hairline transplant. I wish you didn't have enough money to fucking save your hairline. It's because if you were bald, everyone would see the creep you really are, okay? I hate his fucking big four-headed girlfriend. I hate all of those fucking people, dude, and I hope they burn. Genuinely, I hope they all suffer. Oh yeah, most importantly, fuck the mods, okay? They're all fat, blue-haired feminists, okay? And I hope that they're fucking... <laughs> 
I hope that menopause fucking ruins them in their 50s.